Sons of the Forest was released in early access back in February of 2023. Since then, the game has had six major updates, which have not only fixed bugs, but added completely new content to the game. And so the question remains, is Sons of the Forest worth buying? Well, let's take a look. When you first jump into the game, you can't help but be taken back by the hugely immersive environment. Wind blows through foliage, wildlife is hugely prevalent, and the clouds above even create shade when blocking the sun. Not to mention the sounds of running water from streams and rivers as you make your way through the forest. As time progresses, the seasons also change, making you have to constantly adapt to the weather and other challenges, or even opportunities that may present themselves as a result. The environment also has an effect on how you play the game. For example, smaller rocks and sticks can be harder to find in the winter snow compared to the clear days of summer. But aside from all that, being an axe-wielding survivor that's surrounded by trees, well, what better to do than take a couple swings and get a base going? In my opinion, this is where Sons of the Forest really shines. Lay your axe into a tree and see how you slowly edge away at the wood until it finally comes crashing down. Then, pick up some logs and get to building your first house. There are a variety of pre-built structures to choose from, which will automatically build as you bring the required resources. Or, you can freely build yourself. No blueprints, no ghost layout, just you and your axe chopping up logs into the perfect home. The animations are completely seamless, flow well during building, and is what truly brings that deeper level of immersion to the game. Not to mention the added animations when crafting items in your inventory bring more of that touch as well. Now, while still on the premise of mechanics, let's get into the combat. Sons of the Forest brings an array of weapons to the table, which can be used to dispatch of the island's cannibalistic inhabitants. Some can be crafted, while others can be discovered as you progress in the game. The combat system features pretty standard mechanics, including a combination of light and heavy attacks with melee weapons, the ability to block, and also the ability to parry, granted you're able to time it right. Or, of course, you can always opt for ranged weapons, such as the classic bow and arrow. Cannibals will dodge attacks if they're too obvious, and will even faint when attacking you in an effort to break your stance. Some cannibals can also be seen wearing armor, which will provide more protection to the areas they're covering. Dismemberment is also present in the combat scene, and hitting an enemy with a clean attack in the right area can result in an arm, leg, or even head being chopped right off. But above all, the greatest weapon for any cannibal to face comes through the power of nature, and in this case, it's water. Any cannibal that steps foot into water deep enough to swim in will automatically drown. So that's something to keep in mind too. But apart from all the building and fighting, let's get into our last section and talk about what the game offers at its very core with the story. Sons of the Forest is of course a sequel to its predecessor, The Forest, and somewhat continues the narrative from where the previous game left off. However, at the time of making this video, I would actually advise from progressing too far into the story, as it seems a bit incomplete. As I mentioned in the beginning, the game is regularly receiving major updates, which are still developing elements at the foundational level. So, instead of spoiling yourself now, wait until the game is fully developed to get the full experience. But that doesn't mean the game isn't worth buying now. If you're looking for an immersive survival building game where you can create a place to call home amidst the wilderness, then even in its early access state, I'd say Sons of the Forest is worth the purchase. If you're looking to indulge yourself in the storyline of the game and play through it in its entirety, then that's where I might suggest holding off for now, so you can experience it for the very first time when it's fully polished. The developers have also stated that the game's price will not change upon leaving early access, so no need to consider buying early if you're hoping to save a couple extra dollars. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing. Leave a comment letting us know if you think Sons of the Forest is worth buying. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.